Hello, this is Gio, and we're here to show you how to stick a air filter into your furnace. And air filters, this is a typical air filter, they come in uh, somewhat different sizes, all generally look like this, come in different widths, heights, and thicknesses. You can get them an inch or even much thicker than this. But this is a standard air filter, and this protects from pollen, pet dander, dust, mites, those kind of things. So this is a typical furnace. They all look very similar to this. You And you typically see ductwork coming in, typically on the side, and then leaving typically on the top. It all varies though. But um, what happens is the cooler air comes into the, in this case it comes in from the left, into the furnace, gets heated, and goes up and out into your home for distribution. And but the filter always is installed before the air actually reaches the furnace itself. You want to filter the air before it is heated. And so normally the filter comes uh, gets installed right before it enters. And you commonly you see a slot like this. In this case you just bring it up and out, put this down, and you can see the filter, the, uh, in this case it's 16 wide, 25 tall, and 1 inch wide. And all of these filters typically have an arrow, and you can see the arrow here. And the arrow points to the airflow direction. And so in this case the air comes down this way and into the furnace. And in, in your new filters, let me open this up for a second. So I've taken this out of the package, and here you see an arrow. Um, it's just on the tall side, not the short side, but it does exist. So this shows the direction of air flow. And so we're going to stick it in this way, same way the arrow is pointing. So first we're going to take out the old filter. And here you just grab it and pull and get it out. Put it on the side, and then new one should slip right in. It was the same size, 16, 20, 25 by 1 inch. And sometimes they're a little difficult, especially with one hand sticking it. And there you go. And it just slips in like this. There you go. And in this case, I just take the slot again and slip it over. Now before I did this, I did turn off, I did turn off my, um, my thermostat so the furnace would not kick on. I don't really want to kick it on when I'm installing this. So first turn down your uh, or turn off your thermostat and then uh, install your new filter and then turn back on your thermostat. And in some cases depending on how these are configured sometimes you actually have to take these plates off. Uh, if you're in, let's say, if your furnace is in a closet, there might be, it may actually, um, the filter may be down on the bottom, so you have to take off both of these. Also, if you have an attic unit, um, uh, that it could be uh, a different configuration where you have a filter that's actually on the ceiling that you have to remove. And I'll show you an example of that next. So here's an attic unit furnace very similar to those you find in the basement but uh, just installed on its side there and here is the intake air and it's just in this little tube and it comes over here and actually connects to the ceiling below the attic so that's the only difference that you see and then all the uh, distribution lines run out from the furnace to their various locations throughout the house. And here's what it looks like underneath the attic. It's just basically on top of the ceiling. And in this case you have these little little slots, levers, that you pull down on both sides. Like that. And it just drops away like this. And then you just slip out the old filter. And as I slip it out, you can see the arrow again, and it's pointing up in this case. So air actually comes this way into, into those uh, um, flexible pipes and goes to the furnace. So you have to remember, 
When you take these out, always remember wh which way the arrow is going. So I'm just going to take this down and replace it with a new filter. And I just have to switch this around so it's facing the right direction. Stick it in. Like that. The arrow is in the right direction. And in this case, it's a different size filter. This is 14, 20, and 1. So I just stick that in. And then shut, shut this. Shut the levers again. Lock it up. And there I'm set. set. And you can see how dirty the old filter was. All the debris. And most of it's on this side that the air is coming through. So there, there you have it. That's how you change your filters. See you next time.